It's another head-to-head -head comparison today, but this time between the most and least expensive Class B Pluses on the market. You voted and your wish is my command. It's a battle between the Leisure Travel Van's Wonder Murphy bed and the Airstream Atlas. Can the Wonder hold its own against the mighty Atlas? Let's find out. Welcome to Ultramobility. I'm Neil Balthaser and I'm your host. Ultramobility is all about Class B and B plus camper vans. I love camper vans and if you do too, then you should subscribe to my channel. I do comparison and review videos like this every week. At $200,000, the Airstream Atlas is the most expensive motorhome that I've reviewed to date. It's Airstream's signature touring coach, and they've thrown everything into this coach, including a powered slide out and integrated LED lighting in the shower. It's built on the venerable Mercedes Sprinter cutaway chassis and features a 3.0 liter V6 turbo diesel engine packing 188 horsepower and 325 foot-pounds of torque. Mercedes and Airstream come together as a marriage of two iconic brands to produce a stunning coach, but you would expect it to be for $200,000. The Wonder is built on the more humble Ford Transit 350 HD cutaway chassis, and it packs a very respectable 3.2 liter I-5 turbo diesel engine that delivers 185 horsepower and 350 foot-pounds of torque. No, it's not as sexy as driving a Mercedes, but then again, you won't have to worry about the kind of diesel you put into it either. So at least from a chassis perspective, the Wonder can hold its own against the Atlas. Let's head inside now and see how these two great Class B Plus RVs compare. Here we are inside the Atlas's lounge. The first thing that I notice is how dark the interior is. Even with all the light on and that giant sunroof, it's still dark. Part of the problem is the Colombian walnut decor, which is shown here. The beechwood decor features lighter colored wood, a moon-colored couch, and white cabinet doors, which all help. But the biggest problem isn't with the decor, it's that there aren't enough windows in the lounge to let the outside in. But as lounges go, this one is pretty spectacular. You've got a large ultra-leather sofa with electric footrests that comfortably seat three. And when the cab seats are swiveled around, five people can watch a movie on that enormous 40-inch flat-screen TV hidden in the pedestal. The lounge is also flexible with two pedestal tables, one for the couch and another for between the front cab seats. Before we head into the Wonders Lounge, let's talk about some standout standard features and options. Some of the biggest standout standard features of the Atlas are the air suspension and the electric jacks and all the standard safety features like blind spot detection, collision detection, and side cameras, none of which are available on the Wonder. But the Wonder has some optional practical features like an exterior ladder, satellite dish, and Wi-Fi extender, which aren't available on the Atlas. Here we are inside the Wonder's lounge. The first thing I notice is how much more light and airy it feels. It's not any larger than the Atlas, but Leisure Travel Van's choice of lighter colors and materials really helps to open things up. There's a bank of windows above the seating area that's also letting light in. Clever use of under cabinet and floor rope lighting all help to give the Wonder a much less closed in feeling than the Atlas. I also like the seating configuration here with two large comfortable chairs and that fold down table between them just makes a whole lot more sense than having to set up a pedestal table. While the stock chairs don't recline, you can option for a foldable ottoman that stows under the TV cabinet, perfect for kicking back and watching a movie. And speaking of movies, 
The TV is only 28 inches compared to the Atlas's 40, but I love the simplicity of how you raise and lower it. Just lift to rotate it up. No fuss and nonsense and no motor to go out on you later. The cab seats also swivel around so that four people can sit in this lounge. So as lounges go, the Wonder is holding its own against the Atlas. Let's take a quick look at tank sizes. Surprisingly, other than gray water, the Wonder has larger tanks all around. I'm a proponent for larger gray and black water tanks because it means you're going to be dumping them less often. You can always find a place to fill up with fresh water. Okay, let's compare the galleys. This is the Atlas's galley. Its L-shaped layout is very similar to the Wonders, except that the sink and stove swap places. And I'm not sure how I feel about the stove's orientation. It looks awkward. I think the Wonders layout makes more sense. Also, that's a rather smallish window behind the sink. A larger window would have let more light in and helped to brighten up the inside. Unlike the Wander, there's not really any counter prep space. So instead, the Atlas has a pull-out counter extension. One big difference between the Atlas and Wander is the size of their refrigerators. The Atlas has a, get this, nine cubic foot compressor refrigerator. Nine cubic feet. That's one of the advantages of a compressor refrigerator. They're deeper. Finally, before we head over to the Wonder, let's take a look at their electrical systems. Both come standard with two lead acid batteries and neither can be upgraded to lithium. Both also have inadequate 1000 watt inverters, but the Atlas comes with a 2.8 kilowatt diesel generator with auto start as standard while a 3.6 kilowatt liquid propane generator is optional on the Wonder. Finally, the Atlas has 300 watts of solar standard, while the Wander offers up to 400 watts, but as an upgrade. This is the Wander's galley, and I have to say I like it better than the Atlas's. I think Leisure Travel Vans made a couple important design decisions to work in their favor. First, they oriented the stove and sink correctly. The stove is right in front of you when you're standing at the counter, and it's not stuck in a corner. Second, they give you counter space to work with. No need for a pull-out extension. And finally, they put in a larger window that lets in loads of light and opens up the galley. These are small changes, but together they just add up to a better galley. Now. Let's take a look at the bedrooms and bathrooms. Here we are inside the Atlas, and I want to point one thing off right away. The Atlas features a slide out. This wall where the couch is extends out, so the, when the bed flips down, you get some extra room. Now, I'm not a huge fan of slide outs. While they do add some extra living space, they're also prone to failures and leaks. When you purchase any motor home with a slide out, Always check to see what the warranty is. If it's not five years or more, then you should be concerned about that slide out because there's a likelihood you're gonna have a problem with it after around five years. And as we see here, the coach warranty on the Atlas is only three years, so that's a red flag for me. The bed itself is an odd size, 73 by 73 inches, falling between a king and queen sized bed. So good luck finding sheets that'll fit. You don't need the slide out to lower the bed. So like the Wonder, you can have a day bed. There's not much more to say about the bed except that it is comfortable. It has a proper mattress and sports the Froley sleep system. Let's take a quick look at the bathroom. It's a masterpiece, there's no doubt. Teak wood, integrated LED lighting in the shower, and a cedar closet. Those curved glass shower doors are the same ones that we found on the Pleasure Way Plateau XLTS. Very sexy. There's not much that you can fault here. Top notch all the way. Let's see how the Wonder holds up. First off, no slide out. I think that's a plus because the slide outs on the Atlas didn't really result in a king size bed. 
they would have been better off giving you a standard sized queen bed, which is what the wonder has done here. This bed is 80 inches long, meaning if you're a tall person, you're going to do better in this bed than in the atlases. I also love how simple it is to set up. You just flip out the support and lower the bed. The chairs and table automatically fold away as you lower the bed. No having to flip up armrests, wait for the electric couch to lower, and no mattress pieces to fill in at the top like you have to do on the Atlas. Simplicity. Let's take a quick look at the bathroom. Okay, not as glamorous as the Atlas, but it's not too shabby either. What it lacks in glitz and showiness, it makes up for in practicality. Look at that skylight in the shower. It lets loads of light in and gives you the added benefit of more headroom. A taller person is going to be more comfortable in this shower. Also notice how the shower controls are recessed into the wall. That's going to give you more elbow room while showering. These little design decisions make a big difference with everyday use. While integrated lighting and teak are nice, more headroom and elbow room are better. So how does this little $100,000 wonder hold up against the mighty and pricier $200,000 Atlas? On the one hand, you're certainly not getting premium finishes like a brushed metal ceiling and trim. And you're not getting a ton of options as standard features. But you're also paying a hundred grand less. You know, honestly, I have to award the win to the wonder. Yes, the wonder. I'm all for luxury and glamping, but for $200,000, I expect everything to be perfect. I want a proper queen size bed, a functional galley layout, and a shower stall that's tall and gives me plenty of elbow room. The wonder got it right in all the right areas, and it manages to do it all for $100,000 less than the Atlas. That's quite a savings. You could buy both a wonder and an active for the price of the Atlas. Makes you wonder, doesn't it? These head-to-head -head comparisons are so fun. I never know which RV is going to win. And if you enjoy them as much as I do, then click that playlist to the right. And if you want to support me and my channel, then please click the circular subscribe button below.